Citizens are being assured of greater efficiency when seeking project approvals at the Water and Sewage Authority through WASA's online approval system. Speaking in Tobago, Minister of Public Utilities Marvin Gonzalez said the new services committee led by Mr. Alston Fornelia has been working assiduously to improve the systems. Minister Gonzalez explained just over 900 applications are now being processed. Five thousand backlog of applications, and you know what that means? Not frustrated citizens, not only frustrated citizens, not only frustrated developers and persons who would have utilized their limited financial resources to do simple investments. It is costing this economy over five billion dollars in investment, just locked away in a simple unit. Several other WASA projects are being undertaken in Tobago East, which the, minister, the Public Utilities Minister informed will benefit over 20,000 Tobagonians. Chauvin, Cothill and French Fort booster stations will immediately improve and stabilize the water supply of over 29,000 residents in the Crown Point, Colliden, Seaview, Henry Trace and French Fort areas. And the work does not end there, as Minister Webster Roy would have hinted. Plans are on the way to construct two booster stations at St. James Street, Goodwood, James Street, sorry, Goodwood, and a booster station at Hope Trace. These will provide approximately 270 residents with an improved and extended water supply.